What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Raging Nation Show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things matter in the world of movies. In this video, we're going to take a little bit of a break and step back from all the news and big announcements about the upcoming blockbusters. Instead, what we're going to talk about is something that's a little bit more controversial, and that is the Sony hack. If you're not aware, Sony Pictures Entertainment, or rather Sony Corporation, has been hacked and it has been an active hack and by active hack what I mean by that is that over the course of the last three weeks or rather since late November the company has been hacked by the Guardians of Peace or at least that's what they're calling themselves and what has been happening from this active hack is that every day the Guardians of Peace have been releasing all this sensitive information from um, employee contact information to financial information to private exchanges of emails that are only supposed to be exchanged you know privately internally amongst the uh, executives all this sensitive information has been leaked out every single day there has been new information now uh, a lot of uh, you know n movie news sites have been thinking of this as uh, you know this is the gift that keeps on giving because you know we're seeing all this great information especially about upcoming news from talk about um, you know their big franchises such as the future of the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, Men in Black and even Ghostbusters. Now all this news is very very juicy since I love movie news but I'm not here to talk about that. In fact I'm not even going to talk about the juicy information that has been leaked because that would be irresponsible of me. In fact I think it's very irresponsible for any other movie news site to talk about it so I'm not here to talk about that. What what I'm here to talk about is the result of this Sony hack and how it affects us as movie goers. Okay, now, <clears throat> like I said, this has been taking place over the course of three weeks. Now, the main reason why this has been taking place, this hack happened, is because of a film. And that is a film called The Interview, which is actually filmed right here in Vancouver. As a matter of fact, I saw them film at, in downtown in Robson Square. This movie stars Seth Rogen and James Franco. And it's a comedy about an assassination attempt on Kim Jong-un. Okay, I saw the filming take place at, at um, Robson Square. Uh, Seth uh, Rogen and James Franco were, were both there. And um, the hack attempt was supposed to or rather the hack attempt was an attempt to scare the Sony the Sony Corporation from uh, releasing the movie the the Guardians of Peace did not want this movie to be released because they they say that um, what they're doing is uh, is supposed to promote peace not in those exact words but uh, they 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 want to prevent this movie from being released because they feel that by having this movie released it will create a imbalance in in the in the I guess the peace that we currently have okay by releasing this movie North Korea considered it an act of war can you believe that this is a movie this is a comedy it stars Seth Rogen and James Franco two very hilarious comedic actors and North Korea is considering this an act of war. All right. Now there are only what uh, six, seven, eight days left before December twenty fifth when the movie is being released. But today is the day where it looks like Sony Corporation folded. Um, you know, they they considered uh, originally they considered it a bit of a bluff from North Korea. Uh, that it would be an act of war and that they, they're not going to be scared or intimidated. So they're going to release the movie anyways. But in a, a very recent development, the, the, um, the, the hackers stated that if you do not, if the theaters that uh, decide to release this movie, there will be a 9-11 scale threat on these theaters. And whoever's Whoever uh, um, is around these theaters or lives around these theaters, you best get the hell away from your from from the theater that is releasing this movie because it'll be devastating. So now we're talking about a, a national security issue. Originally, this was just a hack attempt, okay, a successful hack attempt, and then now we're talking about national security and the public safety. You know, people's 
public sa the public safety and personal security of people. All right, innocent people. All right. So and so because of that, Sony gave theater owners, theater chain owners, the option that you can opt to not release this movie. Okay, if you don't feel comfortable or confident, you can you do not have to release this movie in your theater. So first, uh, we had um, uh, a couple of cinemas pull out, and that is uh, AMC Cinemas, Bowtie Cinemas, uh, Cinemark, Landmark, even Cineplex, um, uh, ArcLight, you know, big theater chains. And as all these theaters were dropping off the list, Sony Corporation decided that, okay, we're pulling out the movie entirely. We're canceling the release of this movie entirely, okay? Now, at the time when they uh, when they um, um, updated the, the the media with uh, the fact that they're going to cancel the movie, they still have not found out who who was responsible for the hacking. Um, they've um, you know the the it, it was ruled out to be three possible um, um, possible culprits, and that is uh, disgruntled employees because apparently the emails revealed that uh, there's a lot of. Uh, uh, some employees were were uh, treated poorly and very disgruntled. Um, so disgruntled employees or just anarchists, you know, like anonymous, right? Uh, or North Korea itself, as in North Korean spies. And now, because this is a pretty serious issue, um, they have tracked the the uh, uh, um, the hack all the way to a hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. All right. Now it wouldn't be tra tra you know, tracked down in the United States because you know, that would be a stupid move on the hacker. You know, FBI would be breaking down, the, the busting down doors and, you know, finally they'd be caught. But it actually was traced all the way back uh, to a hotel in um, a hotel room in Bangkok, Thailand. So, um, I believe that, um, you know, Anonymous, the, you know, the anarchist group, they're, they're um, you know, the, the, the hacker group rather, they're, they're, um, they're based in the U.S. That's what I think, all right? Uh, but, uh, you know, Thailand is in Asia, North Korea is in Asia, and apparently, you know, after all this digging, the feds have, have uh, confirmed that North Korea is actually responsible for this threat. Okay, so North Korea is responsible for this threat, which seems, of course, very, very plausible, considering that this movie is about, um, about the assassination of Kim Jong-un. Okay, so... Sony Pictures Corporate, Sony Pictures Entertainment has officially pulled their movie from theaters. Now they've also recently updated that they will be pulling the movie from video on demand and also home video release, which means DVD and Blu-ray. So therefore, Sony Pictures Entertainment will not be releasing this movie at all. This movie that costs millions of dollars to make and millions of dollars to market, all right, will not be released at all. Okay. Now, of course, people want to watch it even more, but we won't be able to watch it officially and legally, mainly because uh, Sony will not make it available. Now, how do I feel about this whole uh, situation? Well, I'll tell you that Sony Pictures Entertainment did a very smart move to pull this movie from the theaters. Am I disappointed? Hell yes. But what they did was a very smart move because this type of threat cannot be taken lightly, okay? Originally, it was a game of, uh, you know, cat and mouse and bluffing, and, you know, we don't even know who the hackers originally were. You know, it's a very, very um, anonymous. It could be anyone and anything. It could be nothing. But now, we're talking about someone issuing, or rather warning, threatening a 9-11 scale threat, okay? Something that could be seriously devastating. That's not taken lightly. You know, we're, we're talking about the, the you know, uh, people's safety. The last time something, like, really, really uh, tragic happened in a theater was in the release of The Dark Knight Rises and, a, you know, like, this insane gunman was, was shooting everybody down. You know, they don't want a repeat of that or even worse, okay? So, whether it's fake, whether nothing's going to happen or, 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 or um, you know, or whether this is just some bluff, it doesn't even matter. The fact is that people's lives is are not worth the the corporate greed and got, by corporate greed i'm talking about box office dollars box office dollars is not worth the risk of people's lives okay so what they did was smart some people are calling it you know this is an act of cowardice right 
and um, Sony Pictures is a coward for standing down. Um, you know, you can say that, but at the end of the day, if these theaters get bombed, okay, the same people that are calling Sony Pictures a coward will be saying, Sony Pictures is oh, so stupid. Why did you, why did they do this? Okay, why did they release the movie? Okay, heck, if you knew that the movie was going to be made, you know, wouldn't you have protested for the movie to not get made at all? All right. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I think that Sm uh, Sony Pictures did the right thing. You know, they did the right thing. And it's unfortunate that it's not happening. But uh, unfortunately, this is a complete lose-lose situation. Okay, North Korea wins with their cyber terrorism. All right, they, they, they won with their threats. You know, Sony Pictures folded. And... Unfortunately, this doesn't just affect Sony Pictures, but it affects the movie industry as a whole and us moviegoers, people who love to watch movies. This just means that a foreign threat, okay, dictates on what we get to see as the audience, which is something that I find very, very unacceptable. There are so many movies out there which talk about foreign threats. You know, any movie, any movie involving like these uh, Muslim terrorisms, you know, like for example, uh, Zero Dark Thirty or, 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 um, or anything that's out there uh, right now or, or um, uh, the upcoming American Sniper, which depicts uh, the Muslims as, as bad guys. You know, any movie involving Saddam Hussein or Osama Bin Laden or Taliban or Al-Qaeda, you know, uh, what about these films? Or what about Team America, World Police? That was a comedy. Or what about G.I. Joe Retaliation? That had, um, had North Koreans in it. Or Red Dawn. Or Olympus Has Fallen. Does that mean that we're not going to be able to see films like this later on in the future? Um, the answer is probably yes. We're not going to be able to see these movies ever again. Anything having to do with North Korea will be shunned out. And will be not an option for Hollywood to make films like this. You know why? Because it's not worth the risk. All right. And, and, you know, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars, but we're also talking about lots and lots of lots of innocent lives. All right. Whether it's a fake or not, it doesn't matter. All right. It's just not worth the risk. You know, um, the, f the first sign, this is the pulling of this movie is the first sign of, of the movie industry folding from a, from a foreign threat. The second sign is actually a movie called Pyongyang. Actually, it's based off a book, which is actually starring Steve Carell. That movie got pulled today. The production of this movie got pulled today. Originally, it was supposed to be directed by Gore Verbinski, starring Steve Carell. And it's a movie about um, uh, a man's uh, experience in North Korea, in Pyongyang. Unfortunately, that movie's not getting made anymore as of today, okay? Because of what just happened. So what does that mean for the future of films that have to do with North Korea? Well, they're not happening. You know, and, and this affects all movies, including like, you know, for example, let's say a writer for Marvel decides that they want to make the next Captain America sequel take place in North Korea. That is not happening anymore. Okay. Or a Transformers film will just, where Decepticons merge or rather join forces with uh, the, the, you know, the, the Empire of North Korea. That ain't happening either. All right. Or any superhero movie or whatever, any action movie that involves North Korea as a threat. Okay. That is not happening, okay? Even if they, you know, they're, they, Kim Jong-un doesn't care about those ones, it uh, is not happening mainly because they don't want to face that kind of uh, risk, okay? So, in other words, this affects us as the audience because we are, our choice to, to watch what, whatever we want is no longer, um, no longer here for us. I mean, it's, it's no longer, that freedom is no longer available. Okay. They just took away that freedom today. Okay. And it's really sad and it's really unfortunate. And it is something that is going to affect our future. Now, some people might think that, oh, this is like totally overreacting, but you got to look at the bigger picture. What really has happened is, <clears throat> isn't just affecting Sony Pictures Entertainment, it, ha it affects the movie industry as a whole, okay? And how, how um, and, uh, and creative people, you know, I'm talking about writers and directors, filmmakers, you know, they're, 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 they won't be allowed to make certain types of films, 
all right? I mean, look, let's look at like a Red Dawn, for example. Originally, the bad guys in Red Dawn was supposed to be the communist army of China, okay? But China, the China government said that if you make this movie, we're, gonna, we're not going to let you release it in our country, okay? And because they said that, you know, the, 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 the studios folded and said that, okay, we won't make it about the Chinese army. We're not going to make China as, as the bad guys because we're going to lose out on millions and millions of dollars in foreign box office. Instead, we're going to make it about North Korea, okay? <laughs> so... This tells you how foreign influences are so strong, okay? And while I do, you know, while, you know, you gotta, some might argue that, well, it's about money. It's, you're, they're here to make money, right? It is a business. Absolutely. But not at the expense of human lives, okay? So, you know what? I, I just really wanted to uh, take the time to talk about this because I wanted to share my thoughts and express how I feel about this. And I'm very, very sad. I'm very, very sad that not only... Um, will I not get to watch this movie? But this dictate, dictates the future of films in general. Okay, um, Films will never be the same, or rather the industry will never be the same after this. And you might not think that it, you know, anything changed next year, but actually a lot of scripts that have not been made into movies will have to be revised. Just like how this movie... Uh, this this upcoming film or supposedly upcoming film called Pyongyang, it's no longer going to be made because of it, because of this this incident. Okay, who knows what will happen to some other films that we don't even know about? All right, now let's talk about the future of this film. It's not going to be released in uh, in theaters. It's not going to be released on video demand. It's also not going to be released on Blu-ray or DVD home video release. So, how can we watch this movie? At this point, a lot of people want to watch this movie. As a matter of fact, if you weren't even anticipating this movie, you want to watch it now. Because you know so much about this controversy, it makes you want to watch it. Alright? So, you know what should happen? What I think is going to happen is that somebody with it internally in Sony is going to release it somehow. It's going to leak it. Okay? There is going to be a leak no matter what. Okay, somebody's going to end up leaking that, that movie, and we're going to see an illegal version of it. And I am against uh, bootlegging of this movie. I, I, I'm against bootlegging in general. I'm against illegal download, but this is the only time where I feel that it will be justified, mainly because it's a great way to stick the middle finger to North Korea. You know, they should just release this movie anyways, for free. You know, don't profit from it. Just release the movie so that we can watch it. Okay, and it's not just about watching it. It's just because there's, there, you know, it is, it is a way to really express that we will not be, we will not be intimidated. All right, uh, we should be able to have the freedom to be able to watch what we want to watch, and we want to watch this movie. So, I personally feel this is what I believe, and you know, I could be totally off about this, or I could be completely on the ball, and that is, I think that some. <clears throat> Some 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 person of power is going to will have a lot of money and he's going to offer someone that's inside who works in Sony to leak this film or he's going to buy a digital copy of this movie. And because of that, he's going to be releasing it illegally. OK, whether it costs one dollar to download or it's going to be free and he will profit from all the ad traffic. OK, and that's what's going to happen. Or. Someone from China is going to hack into Sony because you can obviously tell how weak their security is. They're going to hack into the movie, I mean, into this, into Sony, steal the movie digitally, uh, and then make bootleg copies of it, which is going to be distributed in China, which you will be able to purchase on eBay or Craigslist or wherever, or a torrent site. I don't know. But the fact is that one way or another, this movie will be seen. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. And I think that the fact that this movie will be seen eventually is a way of combating this, this, this threat and intimidation. It's our way of countering this intimidation. All right. So I'm going to be on the lookout for this film. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I want to watch it. it. It was filmed in my city and I was looking right at James Franco and Seth Rogen. I want to see what they did. All right. And another thing is that um, and this is kind of spoilerish for the movie, but I don't really care because like, you know, chances are most of you won't be able to watch it. And that is there's a very spectacular de death scene for Kim Jong-un. I want to see that. 
Okay, I think a lot of people do want to see that. The, the death scene is supposed to be a, a, a really, really, really spectacular. And you know what? I'm thinking like, how can you make a movie about assassinating Kim, uh, the leader of North Korea and not make it spectacular? Okay, that's a given. You got to make it spectacular. You got to freaking own that son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> That's all I gotta say in this video. I'm just here to share my thoughts. I think it's a very, very sad thing. It's a sad day today in the movie industry. And it's also a sad day for people who, um, you know, who, 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 you know, who are, um, who, who, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, it's a sad day for people, you know, the general movie going public who want to watch this movie. We have to find another alternative way to watch it. But when we do, we will prevail. Okay. So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. We're going to go back to our regularly scheduled news videos about upcoming blockbusters. So stay tuned for that. Um, I decided that I'm not going to be talking about all the Spider-Man um, leaked news. Uh, but I will talk about um, uh, some information about it um, later on in the future um, that doesn't come from the leak. Okay. So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. So stay tuned for more videos. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. A very, very good visual storyteller, as well as a very good, uh, uh story driven storyteller by, by saying that, I mean like he, he's very good at developing